this, guys. I love these country roads. This is about as much traffic as we normally have. Can you believe it? It's a Friday morning. I'm on the way to town to pick up some groceries because we're out. And um, so I'm going to take you with me. guys the trees are turning all the yellows are popping out some reds we're about a week away from peak I would think something like that maybe 10 days and it's getting a little cooler at night so It's a beautiful day, beautiful fall day. Yeah, see, it's 63 degrees right now, and it's like nine in the morning. So, we'll try this holding the camera while I drive thing. See how it works. I love these country roads. show you we're heading up a mountain that's uh, 3,000 foot elevation we're at about 1,300 feet where our house sits and um, so it's a quick climb it's not a very long drive at all but it climbs up pretty quickly Even the highway is deserted. I love it out here, guys. Peaceful, clean air, in the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. I missed the Blue Ridge while I was living in Italy. I couldn't wait to get back. Now I'm gonna take you to see uh, Lover's Leap, it's a lookout, uh, 3,000 foot elevation. We're just going to go and take a look. I want to show you the uh, lookout and uh, it's very cool. I think you'll enjoy it. We got a bunch of wood mills over here, like two, just to the outskirts of town. As soon as you get out of town, you start climbing. are popping already like I said it's a quick climb it goes from about I don't know I believe the town of Stewart Virginia which is our town is probably below a thousand feet or around there and then we climb up to 3,000 very quickly can't stand all this traffic guys it's killing me every time I go out I have to deal with so much traffic it's almost like really pathetic I'm trying to drive and hold the camera I want to really show you because it's just unbelievable it's a beautiful day beautiful beautiful day it's 70 degrees and Let's get a little windy over here because we're climbing up the side of the mountain. Anyways, I'll see you at the lookout. Lover's Leap. 
Okay, so we're at Lover's Leap Lookout and they got a bunch of painted stones over here and lockets that people put up, couples, lovers. Now it's just Dragon Dawn. Never forget it. Anyways, guys, hard to tell from here. I'm going to walk down a bit, give you a better look. People stop here all the time to take video and pictures. We are literally maybe 10 minutes from the house, right here. So that's how quickly we can get up to 3,000 feet. Sorry about the noise, but the occasional track is by. I mean, breathtaking, right? And actually, we're only a few miles from the Blue Ridge Parkway. So once you get on that, you can get up into all kinds of elevations. See that behind me? Beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful. Top of the world. Not really. But compared to some places, you know, like Florida, <laughs> where it's all flat. I lived in Florida for a number of years and I like Florida, don't get me wrong, but uh, I love the mountains. That's who I am. This is who I am right here. Last car leaving, and then we'll be all alone. Just you and me at Lover's Leap, Southwest Virginia. Look it up. I'm sure you'll find a lot of uh, photos and videos on that. We're also very close to a park called Fairy Stone Park, and uh, you can find fairy crosses and fairy stones. There's a whole history about that. Um, it's, uh, of course, not all of it is true, but uh, it's pretty interesting. I'll have to give you some information on that later and uh, see if we can find some of those fairy stones. They are only found in very few parts of the world, and this is one of them. People write their names, little hearts. All over this wall, all the way down to the end where the van is down there. Zoom you in so you can see that's where the van is.
I thought you might like this. Some of you, anyway. Particularly the ladies. And then up here, they have a, a metal post and people put their luckers. There were a ton more last time we were here, so they must occasionally come by here, maybe the county, and cut some out. See, they put their name on the lockets. Just like that. They try to hide them in the back so they don't get cut off, but they get cut off. I don't know why they do that. It was nice with all of the lockets on there. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. So, and then of course, here's the highway. It's not really a highway, but there's another tractor trailer coming, so get ready. And that's what's making all the noise. Okay. I guess we're heading back home now, because I had the groceries in the car. So, gotta put them in the refrigerator. There we go. Cool, right? Here's another post. They took all the lockets off. That sucks. Those are very recent, October 13th. So that's why they're still there. They, they just got put on there. And I think, I don't know if it's once a year or maybe twice a year, I don't know how often, they obviously come out and cut them off. Make room for new ones. They shouldn't though, I don't think they should. Oh look, this is smart. <laughs> These guys put their lockets on the drainage. That's awesome. I never saw that. I didn't see that last time. Okay. One last time. If it wasn't for the cars, it would be so peaceful. That's it guys. I hope you liked the little tour. The five minute tour. You know, it's so close to our house. I just had to bring you out here and show you this, this beautiful place. And uh, one of these days, we'll try and take you to some higher elevations with more of this. I like this kind of stuff. Oh, they even they even wrote on the on this on the state sign. Which I'm sure it's against the law. Okay. Definitely a destination. People stop here constantly. See you at the house.